we are a truly inclusive organisation. We're inclusive internally, as we are inclusive externally with our customers as well. And being part of this event and supporting this event is true to our brand and our values and hopefully shows all of our customers and all of our prospective customers really what we're about. I think historically accessibility was about physical spaces. I used to work in the branch design team and it was all around making sure that our branches were fully accessible, removing steps, enabling you know vertical access but actually if you look at where people do their banking now they're you know using their mobiles, they're using the computer so how do you make sure that that experience is fully accessible as well? The future's bright I think with, with technology. I'm Obviously it's moving so quickly so you know the people are coming up with new ideas all the time so I'm excited about the future. Accessibility is at different levels so you could have physical accessibility such as building layouts etc. You could have digital accessibility to do with software and machines or what I'd like to call mental accessibility which in some ways is the more important which has to do with people's attitudes and I think that's sometimes the hardest thing to change and that's one of the things I keep banging the drum on that disability is not the same as inability and I really hope that one day people will see us as differently abled rather than disabled. We need to start raising these questions more with senior leaders um, and these are new questions that have never been asked before and we may not have the answer just yet but it's around getting in the room, talking about it openly and actually discussing what can be done. If we can get to a place where one day diversity and inclusion it doesn't even have to be thought about, it doesn't even have to be conscious, it falls into the unsubconscious, um, then that's the place where we want to get to.